County, Indiana, and I have a paper route. I, I've been asked to do this video documentary series of my life because I guess I live under some different circumstances than maybe the normal person does. Uh, for the first 27 and 3 quarters years of my life, I lived in a really nice studio apartment. It had a bathroom, a living room, well my bedroom was also my living room and my kitchen, but I had a really nice kitchen. I had a Culligan water station, which gave me room temperature and cold water, a microwave, and a hot plate for my cooking, but also, but also I had, also I had a toaster oven where I could bake pizza. Uh, I really enjoyed my setup there. Um, my apartment was in my mom's basement, and I was really comfortable there, and I was really happy with the way things were going. But then my mom got a new boyfriend named Troy, and Troy. I don't even I don't even know where he was coming from with this, but Troy said it was weird that I was 28 and I was still living at home. Now I tend to disagree. I think that's perfectly fine because I just pretty much left my mom alone all day and kept to myself. And I was homeschooled, so I don't have very many friends, and that's what I'm supposed to do in the show. So I'm gonna meet friends and maybe even hopefully find love. The other day, the other day while I was doing my paper out, and it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big paper out, um, there's something like 70, 78 houses and the subscribers are growing every day because my papers are always on time. But I saw a sign for time travel called the number and the guy said that he would sell me the time machine that he had in his living room. It was only 375 bucks. But the house looked a little a little strange. It didn't seem like the kind of place that would have a time machine, but I went ahead and purchased it anyways. He didn't give me a whole lot of instructions with the time machine, but he said the only thing I have to do is connect the control arm to the capacitor and then connect the headpiece to the control arm and then think about wherever it is that I wanted to go. And then I had to take the thing that he had called the Oracle Stone, which he said mystics and mages prayed over, but I... I to be honest with you, I don't even really know what that means, but I guess the Oracle Stone is probably pretty powerful. When I finally, when I finally got the control arm in what seemed to be the correct position, I put on the headpiece and I thought really hard about 1999 because that seems like a pretty good year and maybe, um, I think maybe I would have been in junior high about that time. But the Oracle Stone barely even fit in the capacitor. I decided that it probably didn't work, so I wanted my money back. 
I, I think that guy just really just sold me a piece of junk. So I, I decided to go back to his house. However, when I got there, he didn't answer the door. I just kept knocking and knocking for a couple hours. He never came to open it. Well, thanks for watching this trailer of The Life of Greg, and I hope you come and watch my show.